Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio, and today I'm going to share with you how to recreate that title for more urban modern title pack 2.0. So if you're ready, let's check it out. Alright, so first off, if you don't want to recreate the title, but you just want to use the free title, I'll link to another video detailing how to use the title and how to install it in the description below. On this video, we're going to focus on creating that specific title. So I'm going to start by bringing a new Fusion composition in my timeline, and then we're going to move over to the Fusion page. Once in Fusion, the first thing I'm going to do is bring a new background in my working area and link the output of that background to the media out. I'm then going to reduce that channel down to zero, and then we're going to bring a text node in our working area and link the output of that text to the background one. In the text one, I'm going to write something. So in my case, I'm going to go with Urban Modern Pack 2.0, I'm going to change the font for Basement Grotesque. It's a font created by Grotesque Basement Studio. It's free for commercial use and for personal use. You can download it for free on their website. They have done a really, really good job. So I'd just like to shout them out and I'll put a link in the description below. So then back in DaVinci Resolve, I'm going to select my text one. I'm just going to copy it and then I'm just going to paste an instance. I'm going to link the output of that instance to the background one right here. Very important, I want to have my instance behind my text, okay? Because that's going to be the background and the text one is going to be the foreground. Then I'm going to go to the instance text. I'm going to de-instance the size and we're going to increase the size a little bit. And then I'm going to go over to shading and I'm going to de-instance appearances and I'm going to switch from fill to outline. Then to help create more separation between the two, I'm just going to bring a drop shadow here on my text one. So I'm going to select my text one and hit shift space on my keyboard and search for drop shadow and bring that in. I'm going to reduce a tiny bit the drop distance and then I'm going to increase a bit the shadow strength. Then to stylize my text a bit more, I'm going to go back to text one. I'm going to go to layout and then here I'm just going to make it rotate a little bit like that. So about six on the Z axis and then I'm going to go over to transform shear and then I'm going to reduce the shear on the X. So like that, I think it's fine. Minus 0 0.15. I'm fine with this. That's the default state of our title, but feel free to make any other modification you would like to the tracking, the space between the line, etc. Right now, we're just going to create the animation. To do that, I'm going to bring some transform nodes. So I'm going to start here with the instance text. I'm going to make sure it's selected and then I'm going to hit shift space on my keyboard and I'm going to search for a transform node and bring that in. Then here I'm going to go to frame 15 and I'm going to drop a keyframe on the position. Then I'm going to go to frame 0 and I'm going to adjust the X position to 0 0.4. Then I'm going to select my drop shadow, hit shift space on my keyboard, bring another transform node, and then we're going to do the same thing but reverse by going to frame 15, dropping a keyframe here on the position, and then going to frame 0 and switching this time on the opposite direction, the X value to 0 0.6. So right now we have a nice displacement animation, but we need to smooth that out by going over to the spline editor. Here I'm going to select my two transform. I'm going to click zoom to fit so I see all my point. I'm going to select all the point, hit S on my keyboard to smooth out that curve, then hit T to bring the ease in and ease out and increase the ease in to about 85. And now we have a smoother animation. I'm just going to add an opacity animation. I'm going to select my merge two, hit shift space on my keyboard and bring a brightness node and bring that in. Then here I'm going to select my alpha channel, I'm going to go to frame 5, drop a keyframe on the gain at 1, and then go to frame 0 and reduce the gain down to 0. And now we pretty much have our title, one a few touches. First I'm going to select my brightness and contrast, achieve space and bring another transform node so I can easily adjust the overall size of our title. Then I'm going to achieve space again and I'm going to search for a glow and I'm going to bring that glow node to just give a bit more punch to the title. Right now it's a bit too much, I'm going to reduce the glow to 0 0.6 and I think like that it looks pretty good. And that's pretty much it. Now we have our final title. Nothing too complicated. It was fairly easy to follow, I hope. Again, if you don't want to go through all that, you can download the title by clicking the link in the description below. There is also a video explaining you how to use it if you need more information on that. And if you like that style of title, we have a full pack containing 30 different titles available on our website. So it's in the description as well. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in a comment what kind of video you'd like to see next. And see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videoeditorstudio.com.